Hey y'all, welcome to a Mindless Morning Show special interview. Sit back and relax with your hosts, Nick and Josh. Hey everybody, welcome to the Mindless Morning Show. Today we have a very special guest. We have Mike Vicera of Animes X. It's a hard rock band that plays really good like straight up really good like music like themed like christmas music and he's been in other bands uh uh endorsed by disney called d metal stars and disney super guitar there's a lot more we'll get into it how, how are you doing mike great man how are you uh, i'm doing really great now that you're here i'm doing really great this is <laughs> awesome. exciting cool. Re- really cool. glad that you're that you uh, agreed to come on to the show man i'm really glad um uh, happy so, to be here so how uh, so I guess to get to get started, what 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 how did you come up with the name Animes X? How did that start? Um, we were we were doing a thing in Japan. We started in 2011, uh, a thing called Animetal USA, which was an anime thing. Uh, it was Rudy Sarzo from Quiet Riot, White Snake, and everyone in the world. Uh, it was Scott Travis from Judas Priest and Kristen Pelletieri on guitar. And we did this anime-based thing where we did all these anime songs, but metal versions. And yes. uh, and we were full on makeup, you know, the whole kabuki crazy thing and costumes. And it did so well, it, you know, it was just went through the roof. Um, so we did that for a few years. And, <laughs> um, you know, we just decided to go into and, and do something that we could have full control over. You know, that was with Sony. Then we did the thing with Disney and, and these companies always seem to dictate everything and we just needed to move on and, and have control. So we, we came up with the name Anime X and, you know, still staying with, within the anime thing. And, uh, and that, that's really what, how it took place. Damn, that's cool. Uh, yeah, and, and uh, Josh and I, we were both listening to to some stuff before, and it's it's really good. Yeah, oh, thank you. Thank my you. my one question, uh, cause cause you say you want to do your own thing and get a w- branch away from like the bigger companies like Sony and Disney. Um, yeah. If you're gonna cover like anime stuff, still, do you have do you have to go through any type of copyright stuff or any licenses still? Um, with some of the stuff, you need to get clearances, you know, and you, when you're dealing with Marvel or or Disney, of course, you know, any of those companies, you need to get clearances on things. And we have a whole whole division that does that. Um, the States, you know, the world isn't too bad when you get into Japan and stuff. It gets really crazy with that. You know, they they really stay on top of all that stuff. So there the clearances are difficult and you've got to get approval from the original writers, from the performers, mm. from yeah. everyone. But here it's a little little easier. So, but we do, we do have to get clearances on a few things. Well, it's it's interesting because like, like when you think about like the States as opposed to other places in the world, because here in America, we have Weird Al who does parodies of all right. of these big songs and he does them in the name of comedy. and it seems to be he just can do it. Yeah, and yeah. I, I, it's it's cool. I, I, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm starting. I actually to think. went to I actually went to a Weird Al show one time and it was it was unbelievable. It was oh wow! Real. I was shocked. It was no great. Shit. Oh, <laughs> yeah, man. sure guy. It was awesome. I'd love to wow. see him perform live. Like, yeah, so cool. it's it's interesting. Yeah, to to see what type. Did he have like pyrotechnics and stuff, or was it how how was his stage like show? <laughs> It was a full show. You know, he had the band. He came out. He did. It was just like going to see a rock band. But he had, you know, he definitely had a stage show and things happening. And it was <laughs> wow. blew me away. I was shocked. I wasn't expecting that. And he was great. He was really surprisingly good. So that's super cool. Uh, very cool stuff. Wow. That, yeah, that's amazing. So one thing I was going to say, um, have you ever thought about like doing your own own anime or like making a an anime's x like cartoon show kind of like death clock or metal oh, like. <laughs> that would be um, cool. we are actually we've been we've been speaking with some um some comic book people um we were thinking nice. of doing a series there's a lot of things in the works you know this past year just really screwed up everything as you know oh, but God. um <laughs> there, there's quite a few things and and rudy and i um we do quite a bit of things. We're working on a, a another kind of anime series 
thing, I guess you would call it. <laughs> we'll see what happens. But we are talking to people. We're doing. A, we're talking about a toy line. Um, yeah. the comics, the, the the cartoon thing. Um, so we're really hoping that this thing, you know, goes into all those avenues. So it's such a good market, and and it has so many loyal followers too. Like from everywhere across the world. So it's really cool to like, to get into that with your yeah. own, your own brand, essentially. Absolutely. It's brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. You know, it's yeah. shocking. It's shocking. The whole anime world is, you know, if people don't know about it, it's unbelievable. And, and the people are so loyal. And, yes. Uh, you know, it's just crazy. You can do these conventions are two, 300,000 people throughout the weekend, you know? Yeah. Oh my God. So it's, it's a really cool thing. You know? So, so, uh, so have, have you been to these conventions? I'm sure uh, you, a few of them we've played yeah. uh, with Animal USA. We did the, uh, the anime expo in LA. Um, that's the only thing we did in the States, but I've been to a few, you know, played a few and it's just mind boggling, you know, and, wow. and uh, it, it's just, you know, everybody's dressed up and, 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 you know, they'll buy everything. I mean, oh, yeah. like these, these people <laughs> seem to save everything all year long to go and they'll purchase everything. And they're just, it, it's really a cool thing. Do they, sell alcohol? Do they sell alcohol at those conventions? Uh, some, some, you know, it depends on where it's at. You know, I, I don't know. These, these days, I, who knows what's going to happen anywhere anymore. So, yeah, no kidding. You know. it's, it's crazy. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and that was another question we were going to ask. We've been, we pretty much ask everybody this question because it's extremely relevant, but how has like COVID affected what you were trying to do? I mean, I know it, it pretty much ground you to a halt in some, yeah. in some aspects, but. Um, well, you know, touring, obviously we, we took a beating on the touring this past year. Um, yeah. you know, I, I still go out and do solo shows and guest appearances and stuff. So that just got completely wiped out. And uh, we had a six week run booked in New York with Anime's X for Christmas. And from, uh, it was gonna be right right around uh, Thanksgiving through New Year's and, you know, New York just shut down. Oh, so, we're, you know, we're talking about this next year, you know, hopefully it'll happen, but yeah, we took a hit, you know, but we were able to, to record a bunch of stuff and work on this and, and kind of get this going, you know, uh, as far as promotion and all that stuff, which is cool. Yeah. And there, yeah, there's your silver lining. And I, and I hear that from a lot of musicians that, that say like, yeah, our touring took, took a turn. We couldn't do anything, but we had a lot of new music that we're working on now because we got nothing else. Like we're at home. It's so, right. you know, you can't, it's hard to stop the creative mind, you know, when you're right. sitting around and you're looking at your instruments and you're like, I'm going to make something. I'm bored yeah, or create something, you. try to stay busy. And we've been lucky, yes. you know, lucky, you know, I could produce things and stay busy, but, um, you know, it's been rough for a lot of guys, you know, it's been really, yeah. And, and so, so for, for our listeners that are also viewers, cause we do post these on YouTube as well. So people like to look at our pretty faces and yours included <laughs> and, cool. and they would see in the, your background, you've got like some mixing stuff. So you're producing as well as you create. Right. Yeah. I produce a lot of stuff. I, you know, I do, I do quite a bit of, a bit of production work and producing other artists and, and things, you know, and some, I did a thing for Disney called Super Guitar Disney, which was an instrumental thing with Zach Wild and Paul Gilbert and, you know, all the great guitar players. Um, so yeah, I stay busy. I'm lucky. I'm fortunate That's, to be able to be able to do that. So yeah, it's, it's a trade. I mean, it's, it's definitely like a trade, like a skill it set is. that, that you, you perfect over time to master stuff like that. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah. I really, really like that. It's good to see that, uh, everything's like looking, looking good though, regardless of all that's going on with COVID. And if yeah. I'm not mistaken, there was, you had some issues with the tornado last year. Oh yeah, I sure did. Yeah, we uh, we lost our house, we lost our car, we lost everything. Oh we my just, god! Yeah we, yeah, we had a direct hit, and um, we were in the house when it happened. And luckily, um, you know, we we made it through it. But we got a little banged up. But uh, um, it went on after it hit us, and it actually killed killed twenty twenty four people in the next um, county um, after Holy it hit us. Crap. So. And we were, you know, we lost everything, but we survived. We're, we're, uh, we're really fortunate. Now, so, now you're, you're, you're from Connecticut, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that where you are now? 
I'm in I'm in Nashville right now. We're um we're actually in a rental as our property is being rebuilt and okay. Just so uh, we're we're hoping that'll be back up in by the end of March, April, but we don't know. Wow. So as the as you know, host of the Mindless Morning Show, it comes with like a certain jurisdiction that I'm not the smartest person in the world. <laughs> and I was I did not know that Connecticut got tornadoes. They do. I'm in Nashville. Yeah, but your yeah. house but your house was in Connecticut when it got hit, right? No, no, no. It was in oh, Nashville. Nashville. It was oh, in Nashville. <laughs> Nash- okay, 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 okay. All right. Well, I knew Nash. I knew Nashville got tornadoes. So I'm. Not- oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been. Okay. I, I've lived here for like 15 years now. We, uh, you know, I was there, you know, forever, and we just decided. Was, I decided to move here. I was working so much, and and kind of being yeah. based out of here is really, really great. You know, for now, travel. Now Nashville is a very, very huge music town. Like that's something that almost everybody knows. Mm-hmm. Now. I, I, and here's another like mindless thing. I thought that Nashville was mainly uh, country oriented production yeah. and stuff like that. Right. But you're, you're doing like rock and metal, which I yeah. like. That's really cool. Um, yeah. I mean, that so, never so includes cool. you if you don't play country. They don't kick well, you out. I know. <laughs> I'm, I know. I'm just saying, like, if you go down the street, to, you know, whatever yeah. the main street is with music production, you're seeing like country, country, country. country and then you're yeah. Just, like, yeah. Rock and metal. But yes, I, yeah, I like, I like they that. definitely promote the. They definitely pu- push the country thing. But there's there's so many guys here. You know, all the, all the metal guys are here now. Um, you know, the guys from Pantera, uh, Vinny. I mean, they they did their records here. Um, wow, Cinderella, the guys from Poison are here. Crew, uh, Steven Tyler's here now. Um, Dave Mustaine's here from Megadeth. Um, you know, the Tesla guys. Everybody. You know, we all know each other. We all hang out. Yeah. So it's pretty, it's, cool. it's pretty cool, but there's a huge, huge music scene besides country. Well, I know where okay. I'm moving now. I'm going to Nashville, hanging out with you guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, that's it's, it's happening. Well, so, I mean, we'll see, I, gotta, I, I live in, go ahead, Josh. Oh, we, we always do this. <laughs> I, I, I got to say that it, it's, it's really good and, and, and nice to see that, you're, you're staying positive and you have a really good outlook and like, you're still kicking ass after all of the, the shit you've had to go through. So, I mean, that goes oh. to you, man. Thanks. Hey, being music all my life, you're used to it, man. It's yeah. a, it's a nonstop. Get down, get back back up. Up. I, I can't imagine what kind of album you're going to come, come up with, like facing the storm or something where you're just talking. <laughs> well, shit we thought about of a tornado. It. Yeah. Yeah, we uh, thought of yeah. writing something. So we'll see. That, we'll that see. would be cool. Yeah. yeah, and and so part part of my like Nashville stereotype mind, where I I think of it as country, 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 it's because I got Josh. You don't even know this about me, but you know, you, Josh, John, I, I write music too. I'm not mm-hmm. I, I'm incredible, but I wrote some songs and I submitted my lyrics of one of my songs to like a contest, and mm-hmm. and it won, which I thought was really cool. So they took my lyrics and they made a song. in Nashville with my lyrics and they asked me we were like what type of song and I'm like well it's definitely a rock song like I had the mute I had the music in my head and everything but I I didn't know how to play it that at that time so I told them a rock song please and then they produced a country song out of it and it was horrible like objectively horrible even people that like country were like Ah, and I'm like, yeah, yeah. Was, I mean, I'm not offended, but I mean, I did the lyrics, but they just like <laughs> terrible. So. Yeah, there's, there, you know, along with all the good country, there's a lot of bad country too, like oh, everything, yeah. you know, it's just like, yeah, what are you doing, you know? <laughs> yeah, like, okay, like, ah, uh, there's way too much twang in his voice. This is not a country song. Uh, I was, I was pretty mad, but you know, whatever. That was forever <laughs> That's ago. great. That's so funny. So <laughs> yeah. what, was, what was it like for for you growing up, and what what led you to the uh, musical career that you're in now? Uh, you know, I grew up in Connecticut, and my mom was was in theater. She did she sang great. You know, she was a singer and actress, and she did a lot of theater. And uh, and then my brothers, I had two older brothers that were in rock bands. You know, uh, one was a singer, one's one was a guitar player, and I just you know seeing that, I got the bug. You know, and uh, so I was, you know, from a musical family, I was always around it. And, and I studied classical piano for, for years when I was a kid. And that's what they were training me as. And, um, you know, 
once Queen came out and Kiss and all that stuff for that. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know? Piano was on the back like, burner. I was like, man, I want to do that. So um, yeah, that's really, yeah, really what sure. kicked it off. So, so, so out of those, who is your top influencer? You know, in the early yeah. days, it had to be Queen. You know, uh, the early Queen yeah. too. Before before Night at the Opera, the first three, you know, Queen one, two, and, and then Sheer Heart Attack were just, you know, I was obsessed with those records. Um, <laughs> And of course, you know, stuff like Kansas and all those bands I really got into, too. But um, but really Queen in the beginning, you know, um, you know, I got to see them on their, at the night of the opera tour, actually, in a, in a theater in Connecticut. It was mind boggling. Oh, was just wow. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So um, that had to do it for me, the whole Freddie Mercury Queen thing. Yeah, that makes sense. Now, now learning learning piano, does that help with learning other instruments as well? At least it with does the theory wise. Yeah, it does, especially with with singing, you know, uh, working out, you know, harmonies and stuff, you know, and tuning, you know, just people, you know, when I was singing, people were always surprised with my tuning, you know, and it's I think it's just the training from the piano, you know, and yeah. knowing, you know, the keys and, and, and knowing where you can go and how to do it. And so it does. It really helps quite a bit. Yeah, that's that's interesting because I I've heard that from other people that that playing piano seems to be the one that I hear a lot of that helps with with transitioning to like guitar. Yeah, yeah, it it's, it's pretty interesting. Yeah. I I can't tune I can't tune a guitar without a without my phone. I can't do it by ear. I, I just yeah. I can't. I always I always worry that I'm gonna like break a string because I'm like no I don't think it's quite there yet. Boom. I'm like oh boom. yeah, snap. There we go. Yeah. 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 So I always <laughs> I use the app on my phone. It's a really good app though, and it's free. So yeah. Oh, that's like cool. That. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Hey. yeah. Free's always good. Free's yeah, always yeah. great. Not like hey, we're sponsored by them or anything, you know. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're not. <laughs> so you uh you got to play with Ingve Malmstein. How, how was that? Uh it was interesting. It was a good experience, you know. Um Ingve's a character, you know, um, but it was cool. Like we did two records, we did a live DVD, um, we did a bunch of singles, and you know, I, I had left the band called Loudness, Japanese band, and and between him and I, um, it was just you know, especially in Japan, it was just enormous. We were doing Budokan and you know the biggest venues and in, in Europe, so Damn. it was cool. You know, sold a ton of records, but, you know, it was an interesting experience. You know, it was really cool, but he's a character. So, you know, you yeah, can only imagine. I, I, I was super interested because I, I had read of, of like an interview with you on uh, Blabbermouth about how like you it was basically a whole thing of you had some stories to tell about him, but you'd have to wait some time. I, I think it's been a, like more than two years since this interview though. Like, do you, <laughs> do you have any crazy stories you could share about? <laughs> uh, you know, honestly, it's going to be in the book. Oh. There's just way too many. So, hey. uh, yeah. So, yeah. So, so, then, so then you're writing a book as well. Oh, we were thinking about it. There's just been so many experiences. We've talked about it. So it's a good you know, idea. Yeah, we'll it's a see. Really good idea. Right, you gotta we'll jot see. down, all, jot down all your notes so nothing gets passed. You don't forget yeah. anything. Just I'm, I'm hoping yeah, it's, it's gonna be in that book now. I'm, I'm counting right. on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, because we will, we will definitely get it. So, it, so it, tell okay. us it about this out. book. Oh, uh, you know, it would just be about all like, all the crazy experiences in music. People, you know, people don't realize the reality of it. You know, when when the movie Spinal Tap first came out and first time I watched it I didn't think it was funny I was like oh well, this is reality what, what's funny about this you know and, oh yeah <laughs> you know and you know and of course after you get it um you know you find it humorous but you know stuff like that happens that's that's reality in the music industry yeah. and then some way beyond all that just the craziest oh, yeah. craziest things go on so uh, I just thought it'd be it'd be cool to, to put something together and you know I, to, I agree yeah, yeah, that would that would be really cool. People really like to they really like to see the behind the scenes of anything they're interested in, be it movies or music. Right. So that is always a really good idea when you can kind of tell people like, hey, this is actually some shit that happened before that show that you were at. Guess what right. happened like 10 minutes before? Right. It's like a right. whole new experience. Yeah. Yeah. So so we'll see. You know, it's a thought. You know, we've we've thrown some ideas around. So we'll see. You know. Yeah, that's a good and, idea. 
everything's a thought until till it happens. So well, not to mention you have a you have a lot going on right. already. So yeah, putting and, and you know, Josh and I, we do the same thing. We put so much on our plates and then we're like, Well, we'll get we'll get to that when we when we can. There's so much going on right now, so it makes yeah. sense. But that's 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 part of that like having a creative mind where you're always thinking of something else just cause just cause you think of it and it's the way it's you think. To, yeah, yeah, it's just exactly. a train of thought, you know. So yeah, I agree. So how much Japanese do you know? Uh, you know, I, I know quite a bit. I, I I lived there when I was in loudness, so um, yeah, I had to learn to survive. That's- that's that's awesome though. I, there were no cool. translators. There was no I, you know, none of that stuff. You, oh, you just wow. had to learn, or you were going to starve. Wow. <laughs> so, did so the it, band members in in loudness th- did they already speak both languages? Yeah, well, the bass player Masayoshi spoke great. You know, he spoke really good English. Um, Akira was okay. Uh, Munitaka, the drummer, who actually passed away a few years back, um, yeah. he. Uh, he spoke great when he was really drunk. Oh, wow. <laughs> and that was it. If he wasn't hammered, he could No he, way. I swear to God. That's so crazy. <laughs> so it's like God. he like it's like it it's like in a different part of his brain that's only yeah. unlocked. Almost yeah. like that movie with Jackie Tran, the, the drunken the drunken what is that called? The Where drunken he, fist. He, the drunken fist where he like fights extremely really well only when he's hammered. Hammered, that's yeah. A, that's a funny movie, but yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's that's cool. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, and they have translators and stuff for me, too. But I was living there, so I was on my own quite a bit. So I, yeah. I learned some. I learned some. Well, plus, fun. plus, I mean, I feel like, yeah, you'd want to to, to just, you know, not yeah. only to impress people that look at you and just think that you're a tourist and then you say something and they're like, oh, no, he's not a tourist. Exactly. exactly. So exactly. that's really cool. It's cool yeah. to be yeah. able to do that. So throughout touring, um, in between both USA and Japan, what which out of the two atmospheres would you do you like better? Um, you know, it's it's changed over the years because the the um the crowds in Japan, they're always great, but they're always kind of real reserved, you know? Mm-hmm. And now they're not. You know, now we go over there, they're real similar to uh oh. To, to a show here where they, you know, they get wild and they'll stand yeah. and they'll scream. And, um, you know, of course we're American, we're, we're from here. So we, we want to be successful here and we love playing here and everybody sure. understands exactly. But, um, you know, Japan's great. You know, they treat you like everybody's the Beatles there, you know, it's, wow, yeah. it's so, you know, it's top notch, you know, they treat you unbelievable. Everything's first rate you know, first class. So it, it's really cool. Um, but you know, the crowds here, you know, it's, it's home. So, yeah. You know, oh, sure. you know we used to always That's love good. coming back and doing, doing a tour here and it's like, Oh, great. You know? So, yeah. That's good. Um, so they, uh, what was I going to say? No, I lost my train of thought. This never happens. Oh, well, <laughs> since, since you lost it. Um, what what do you think you would be doing if you weren't in the music industry? Like I know it may be hard to figure out since you kind of grew up in it and around it. So, what would I do if I wasn't in the music industry? Chimney sweep. Yeah, <laughs> uh, be, be a drug dealer or something. No, I'm, I'm only kidding. That's where the money's at. You know, you might as well. <laughs> well that's what Josh does. does. <laughs> yeah, <allegedly. laughs> I just like pull it out of like my little hair bun. Like, here you go. <laughs> yeah, here you go, bro. Here you go. Yeah. 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 God, I don't know. You know, I, I'm not really sure what I would do. It's what I've done all my life. And, and yeah, I would, you know, when I was young, I kind of wanted to go into acting too, but you know, the music thing sure. just took over. So, um, well, I, I feel like, I feel like you're at a position though, where, if you decided, I want to try to act, you could probably have the connections to get it going already, which is really fortunate. Yeah. Like, I, bet you, I bet you could. Yeah, we could. I mean, we know enough people and we've done, you know, yeah. videos and we've worked with so many different people and who are fans or friends and everything. So we could, you know, it's just, I don't know, man. <laughs> well, just, I, I feel like what you're doing now, though, is, is it's so more chill. You get to work on music. You get to make music, yeah. produce yeah. music, go out and tour and play the music. 
Right. Like that's, that's like a trifecta right there. Creating, producing, yeah. and acting. Well, not acting, but performing. Yeah. Well, it's, this it's, this this actual show is going to be real theatrical. So it is sort of, you know, they're, they're talking about a cross between a rock band and a Broadway kind of show. It's going to be very theatrical. So. Um, oh, I like that. I like so that. So it's going to be a little bit of everything, you know. Um so it'll be it'll be interesting. It's going to be a cool thing when it when we finally get out there and start playing. You know? Yeah. So so what is what is something that in your mind you could think of that you would want to maybe improve on if if you if you could like if you uh, just everything you know being being a musician you're always even singing writing whatever you always want to improve you know you never feel that you're. It's that great, you know, even though other people may think so, you always think you could do something better. Oh, I could have oh, yeah. sang that better. I could have played that better. I could have could have wrote this part better, whatever. So it's, you're always trying to be better with everything. Oh, yeah. Well, that's that's a good way to look at it. And I mean, that's that's true. That's true. With I think that's just true with how humans are. You know? I think so. I think so. You know, I. I, I always used to hear actresses or actors say they hated watching themselves on film. You know, I think. Oh that, yeah. And on the same way, like I hate seeing videos of myself live or like stuff like this. I won't watch oh, it. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just no. like, I'm like, oh man. <laughs> that, that's well, so, well, we're, we're gonna well, do so well, many different video things now, so you have to see what we did. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, no, exactly. no, we'll we'll, we'll we'll edit your frame with just like a black bar over it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Here, here's Mickey Mouse or. Something somebody have a cartoon character in place <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious I, I'm yeah it's a little it, bun you didn't you didn't wear the metal rider outfit for us today man right i should have i should have <laughs> yeah pull that one out of the closet right <laughs> that's, that's yeah. awesome. I, I would have that like in a display case somewhere in the house that, that, yeah yeah well, I don't, even, I don't even know where that stuff is. It was on the it was on the road, and it's probably in storage somewhere. You know, um, oh, no. <laughs> I'm not even sure where it is. Um, yeah. And, and when we talk about like seeing ourselves on video and, and, and whatnot, it's the same when we started podcasting, cause I was hearing my own voice all the yeah. time. And that's one thing that a lot of people cringe about. So I completely changed my voice and I usually sound like this. This is my normal <laughs> voice. Huh? No, I'm just playing. <laughs> But right. it, 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 it takes some getting used to, man, like hear, hearing it over and over. And we were like back listening back. And when we first started, we sounded like shit. And, you know, yeah, I, I, it, it's the same, you know, it's it's the same with me or with anybody. You hear yourself, you see yourself You're like, oh, you know, you're just so critical. And in 10 years from now, I'll look back on something I did now. And I was like, oh, well, that was cool. What was I thinking? You know, right. You know, I do it now with like 10, 15 years ago. I'm like, oh, that was actually really cool. I wasn't, you know, at the time you think, oh, my God, it's awful. But right. And I think yeah. that's just human nature with everyone. So I, I think so. I think yeah. so, too. Um, so what what is the, the the overall future look like for you? We we're, So far, we're, we're looking at comic books, books, theater shows, toys. Yeah, you know, just everything. We, you know, we're just going to hopefully, you know, just keep pumping out music and, and, and pushing this thing. And hopefully all this takes place. You know, there's a lot of things in the works. Um, you know, just, just you know, we originally, you know, I, I know the guys from uh, TSO real well. The, you know, Translate and Orbitz Drive. Newton known those guys for years. Oh, you know, cool. we thought something like that but a year-round complete family type thing you know um where the metal heads like it the kids like it um you know we're, you're doing stuff that people are familiar with and and uh you know we're just hoping that it really just sticks around for a while and we can just do this you know instead of you know most musicians are doing nine thousand projects a year to survive so you know if we could just do yeah. this and really promote it and really turn it into something That'd be awesome. That, Man, that would be I, I really, I can really see that happening. I really can because, especially if if you get you know endorsements from companies like Disney or whoever it is, yeah. even though you wanted to kind of stay away from them. Yeah, I can, I can see it getting big even without that. Though, to be honest, there is a demand for it. The familiarity <laughs> aspect of it is 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 really good. Not yeah, just, uh, we, I'd I'd much rather take my kid to see a like a metal kid rock show or something you know yeah. than just yeah. some regular show me too me right too. you know absolutely 
it, and it's cool, you know, and, 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 you know, you, you, you hear stuff from your childhood, but it's kind of a new twist on it. And the kids think it's like, well, oh, this is great, you know, and it's, it, it's a cool thing, you know, where yeah, absolutely. People, people are like, oh, why are you doing that? I'm like, cause it's so much fun. Man. It's, it's fun. And, <laughs> yeah, awesome. it's and, and when you, and when you go to like, like a metal type show like that, you you feel that shit in your core when the music's right. playing and the bass is going and like you don't get that from Disney on Ice you know what no. I mean like that's <laughs> that's epic and like a kid will be like I want to go back I want to go again I want to go for yeah. my birthday next month like I want to do it more like I, I exactly. really really can see that being big because I, I listen to metal a lot and mm-hmm. I play it in the car with my kids when we're in like yeah. my mini minivan going to like a drive through or something. I'm blasting metal and they call it daddy music and yeah. we get in the car and they're like, let's listen to daddy music. And I'm like, yep. done. Yeah. Boom. They love it. So hearing that live, man. Yeah. This is yeah. Be really- so that's, you know, hopefully it'll, it'll really cross over. It, ha- it has so far, it's been real successful. So, you know, we're just, we're just digging in and, and hopefully things clear up this year and everybody get back to normal and start living life, you know, and hell yeah going to shows and, and uh, doing things in person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I um, highly suggest like a, a little toddler mosh pit so that like all the parents <laughs> can listen to the show and watch yeah. the toddlers just like, <laughs> yeah, we just, we do one of those ball pit, ball pit, mosh pit thing. <laughs> <There you laughs> go. Right. Perfect. That would be epic. That would be crazy. Um, be great. So, it's a great so, idea. <laughs> yeah. I, I like that. So, so yeah. what, what advice, do you do, would you have for for somebody that that is really wanting to try to be a musician in today's society which i know is very hard now yeah it's it's so different now you know obviously the social media thing is everything you know when when we were doing it you just played your ass off you know you played clubs you tried to you submitted tapes you did demos you you did whatever you could and yeah and you know hopefully somebody would see you or hear about you or listen to your stuff and and really it was luck of the draw it was just so so different but now it's really just the social media thing try to uh, try to do something different you know that that really sets you apart from everybody because yeah there's so much of the same crap out there you know and it's like all right you know um Mm -hmm. so that's really you know set yourself apart and and really know how to work social media (laughs) yeah that is a big one you know that's it that's such a big part of it now it's crazy and uh and play good learn your instrument Be good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Uh, well, we are going to take a very short break and we're going to come back and we are going to get mindless with Mike. And that really rolled off the tongue really nice. <laughs> Didn't it? Didn't it? Yeah, it did. I think it, it did. did. Awesome. <laughs> we'll, be, we'll be right back. Thank you for staying tuned in to the Mindless Morning Show. We hope you're enjoying another fun-filled episode and would love to hear from you. If you're listening, be sure to follow us and leave a review. If you're on YouTube, please like, comment, subscribe, and click that notification bell to be alerted anytime a new episode drops. Thank you, and enjoy the rest of your show. Hey, everybody, we are back with Mike, and we are going to do our mindless bullshit segment and just ask really, really weird questions. And this one I thought of because I actually, it actually does kind of pertain to a little bit of what you've done. But what would you say your favorite style of architecture is? Oh, yeah, exactly. Right, right in line with what I do there. My favorite, oh, God architecture um <laughs> well i i thought of it because i know you stumped you, them on round one well man. <laughs> i know well you well, you go to you go to japan a lot and their architecture is straight up unique as hell so yeah. See, um yeah i have to say like you know what castles throughout the world honestly Ooh. like there's there's castles yeah. everywhere you know you think just england or europe but when you go to japan there's a lot of castles no and, shit. And, and just everywhere you know um I was in Costa Rica right right before the the virus hit and even there you know just in Central America South America Europe all over the place Japan you know China there's just castles everywhere and Damn. they're it's they're incredible and they're all different really really different you know so yeah I'd have to say that 
I like that. That's 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 the same answer my wife would give if I asked her. She but she she's like me. I always thought like Europe, Europe, Europe castles, Europe castles. But the yeah. fact that there's some all over the world is really cool, which makes sense because yeah. history is everywhere. You know, right. you know, in between the front door and there's a secondary door behind the front door in a castle, and it's called the killing room. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that's what it was called. I know the room is there, but that was yeah. yeah as soon as they got in, they. They'd start getting pegged with boulders and arrows and oil and flame. Like it was crazy. They called it the killing room. Yeah. Um, so I want yeah. my own castle now. Yeah. Gotta miss yeah, those well. days. I feel like if you, Josh, I feel like if you put a killing room in your own little castle, the cops might want to talk with you. That's fine. Step right into That's the killing fine. room. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm kidding, awesome. cops. Nobody get. <laughs> yeah, allegedly. We all have to say allegedly. <laughs> yeah. um, allegedly, right? Exactly, exactly. So, um, 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 do you have any decorations on your lawn? Um, any flamingos? I did at Christmas time. The wife's crazy okay. with that stuff. So yeah, we had a bunch of stuff. Santas, blow up Santas, and all that stuff. Um, but not really. Other than that, yeah, welcome sure. mats and stuff like that. <laughs> but on the lawn. Ah, a few bodies, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> for Christmas Day, that's epic. Yeah, epic. <laughs> Christmas decorations is like dead bodies. Like, I don't know dead if this bodies. guy understands Christmas. It, it's the elves that didn't meet the quota, the toy <laughs> yeah. quota. <laughs> Have you ever seen the little Christmas villages at Christmas time? People yeah. do with the figures and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. My wife thought it would be funny one year with the kids. They made a massacre scene, and they <laughs> just, like, had the heads off and people with axes and, and she made the a christmas massacre scene and it was it was so, awesome that's that is, epic that is metal that yes. is, like that is absolutely. like that is incredible <laughs> yeah i i really like that like i've seen i've seen some of those christmas stories where there's like a like a fake santa hanging from like a from like the roof and yeah. people called because they thought it was a real person and like police have been having to make people take those decorations down because they kept getting so many 911 calls. Right. But like that's that's really clever though, the massacre scene. Like that's yeah, it I was like different. That. The oh, Sarah yeah. Mascare or Mas- yeah. <laughs> I <almost> said Mas- <laughs> Josh, go away. <laughs> I, 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 like, uh, I like the idea. <laughs> I don't know why I thought of this. They're so stupid. Does your does your car currently need an oil change? What the fuck? Uh, <laughs> Josh, no. did you not know? Did you not see that? One? No, I didn't read that. Actually, actually, it doesn't. It doesn't need an oil change. I mean, we were just discussing that today. Uh, hey. <laughs> see, I love these because they're so out there. Yeah, they're yeah. funny as shit. Uh, uh, <laughs> Okay. All right. Wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah. Because some people might be like, oh, shit. You know what? We do need one. I'm actually going to jot that down because I need one. So hey, you never hey, know. It could, it could be more interesting if you asked me if I needed an oil change. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. So do you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to answer that. <laughs> Um, we get some more lubricant over here. <laughs> <laughs> do you do you uh, have a memorable time or a moment or what comes to your mind when I ask you, when's the last time you broke something? Oh, I break shit all the time. <laughs> there you go. I was going to say aside from like hot, hot chick hearts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Geez, no. Uh, yeah. I break stuff all the time. I'm, I'm good at it. I'm go. really good at breaking shit. But, that's good. Yeah. You're you're around instruments and amps a lot, so you know being clumsy is that's, that's yeah. <laughs> so yeah. How many guitars have you just like? Oh smashed? yeah, uh, a few. Not recently, but a few in the past. You Dang. know, and that's more just frustration. Just you know, being pissed off about some, you know, being raped by some manager or something. Oh you know, god, that's, yeah. Oh, I uh, mean. I love seeing that shit on stage, man. Yeah, that's that's the christening of like becoming a true rock and roller when you just start <laughs> destroying shit on stage. That or like a hotel stuff, yeah. room. Yeah, or like a hotel room. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, this is great because you're about to see Josh make a face like because yeah. he, he already knows. He it. already knows. Okay, so I was gonna bring it up. So every single interview, for I, I somehow managed to bring up that I am a by profession, I'm a new construction and remodel plumber, right? 
Mm-hmm. And in this context, there's it always fits into context, Josh. That's what you don't understand. Uh-huh. I was going to say, as a new construction remodel plumber, I break shit, destroy shit all the time. Right. Drywall, yeah. toilets, just bust stuff. So yeah. I was going to say, it, it's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. It is. You get it is. That. So, so moving on from him being the number one man for the number two job, what are your <laughs> thoughts? <laughs> what are your thoughts about Bigfoot? Oh God, um, geez, you know it's funny. I've actually watched some stuff about that recently. Yeah, you know, there's so many things on on TV, and um, I don't know. There's so there's so much unexplained stuff right now. You know, I agree. Do you know. like a lot of the the crypto zoology kind of things with like Loch Ness monster, Aliens the Mothman? And, yeah, you know, I, I love all that stuff, and I watch it. But I mean, who the hell knows? You know, it's just there's so many bizarre things. I yeah. don't, I don't, you know, so I wouldn't about, be surprised. What about it's, aliens? You know, my wife's convinced they're we're going to find out this year, so we'll see. I, I hope she's so right. Too. I hope she is right. I mean, more and more, you hear more and more. They're like, so and so airline has has confirmed that they saw an UFO. Like they have no freaking idea what it was. We're right. seeing more and more of that, like on a trend. Yeah. I mean, it's like it's like we're getting built up to it a little bit. It is. There's stuff. There's definitely stuff. You know, yeah, we'll see. Sure. They're, they're easing us into it so we don't go through another toilet paper shortage. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Hey, here's a funny story. <laughs> Shit really hits the fan when aliens are around. <laughs> uh, uh, when, when we first, when the tornado first happened, we were in a, in a townhouse and I had this older lady next to me um, in, in another townhouse. And we were outside talking and... and she said, "Oh, geez, now now we have the murder hornets." And I was like, "Oh yeah, that's you know, it's unbelievable." And she said, "I wonder how much how much toilet paper we're going to need for that one." <laughs> <laughs> all of it, one. all of it. <laughs> it was on the ground. I'm like, "That's funny, man." <laughs> I yeah. can't believe it. I could not believe like how many people were doing that. Like, we're going crazy about it. Oh my god! <laughs> Some news reporter said shit is hitting the fan, and everyone took it. Way too literally. <laughs> literally, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's, I don't know what it was. That was that was very bizarre, indeed. Yeah, it, yes. it was. Yes. Um, um, when when is the last time? Or maybe you never have, but I guess I should ask: Have you ever stepped on glass? Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, Every yeah. day. Do you do like a whole <laughs> pathway to like prove your your manhood? Like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's part of the show. No. <laughs> <laughs> that was a kid. Crazy. <laughs> when I was a kid in Connecticut, we used to, you know, we lived in the woods and just lived and we would step on shit and, you know, broken <laughs> bottles in the woods or something stupid. So, yeah, yeah I have actually. Oh, Not yeah. in years, but I did. Yeah. 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 Okay. Awesome. Yeah. It's have no, you... Awesome. Awesome. No. <laughs> awesome. Have awesome. Have you ever gone surfing? No. No, and the, oh. and I was I was gonna go surfing in Japan because the bass player in Loudness surfed, and they actually surf not I guess just north of uh, Tokyo. There's an area where they surf, and he was gonna take me, but it never never happened. So no, oh man, oh man, oh, yeah. well you'll have to go, man. You, yeah, maybe. Yeah. I, feel I feel like the, I feel like, I feel like everybody I feel like everybody that has long hair would probably be good at surfing. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I based yeah, that no on question. scientific knowledge and <laughs> scientific. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I actually fished in Mount at Mount Fuji. There's lakes all around Mount Fuji, and I fished. Oh, that is awesome. Can. Yeah. You what was your fish? best catch? Yeah. What'd you catch? I, you know, I don't know the whatever the local fish is. Um, it was funny because I had my brother and Masayoshi, the bass player from Loudness, and his buddy are they were considered like professional fishermen. Oh wow! And I was the and I I have no freaking clue. You know, yeah. I'm just out there throwing shit into the water, and <laughs> yeah. I was the only guy catching yes. anything, and they were so pissed off at me, and I'm yep. like. I don't even know what I'm doing, man. It's and that's wifey. why. Yeah, that, that's <laughs> yeah. It's seriously. That's like my my dad. He's a huge fisherman, and he's considered like pro level. He goes out there with all of his equipment. He'll catch yeah. seventy fish in one day. Holy shit! Yes. <laughs> Say, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Some of the pictures, man. He posts they're epic pictures of all these fish. Wow. Uh, um, but he he says usually the person that has the least amount of experience catches the most. 
Yeah, it's like yeah. it's like bowling or something or playing yeah. tennis with somebody that's horrible and they'll kick your ass. You yeah, know? yeah, just, exactly. Or, or a kid in tech and just pressing the same fucking button over and over. <laughs> so you can't yeah. move. The fighting game and you just get your ass kicked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Speaking of bowling, have have so uh, you've you've played bowling? Have you ever done that embarrassing thing that some people have done where you've fallen while playing bowling? Like you like slipped and went forward. Uh not that I could remember, but there's been, you know, probably probably wasted and hammered different times and probably probably slept on the, the bowling alley. God knows, but not not that I can remember. Nice. Like I'm gonna beat the ball. Like all right. I'm gonna beat be the ball. Dude, that movie that movie uh Kingpin. Yeah. Uh when they're putting his head in the Ooh, his hand in the bowling the ball retriever. That when I saw hey. that I that was on last night. I just watched that last night. No way. I swear to God. Yeah. I swear to God. I just watched it last night. Yeah, we're on a streak. We got we we got his oil. We got the Okay. So <laughs> so th- th- this is this might Mike, this might freak you out a little bit. We've been watching you. Okay. <laughs> okay. We've been watching okay. Every- <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> and we're jotting down like stuff to bring up because we know like it'll be like, yeah, it clicked. No, that would be horrifyingly creepy. I mean, that that's honestly next level research for podcasters. I, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think he gave us a little too much credit there, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, we, we follow our guests around for a few days and just and then yeah, jot down questions. Stock them, like us. That plant yeah. cameras in their house. Cool. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, right. yeah, yeah. So your little mic stand back there has got a little camera in it. I, I, you know. No oh, okay. Good. Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I'll have uh, our intern come take it out later. <laughs> okay, no problem. Oh, uh, that's amazing. H- have you have you ever witnessed a car accident? Oh, yeah, I've, I've witnessed a few. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nothing, nothing memorable. Nobody flying out the windshield. No, oh my, my son did though. My son saw oh. somebody fly through a windshield. And Holy was, shit! Yeah, right in front of him. It was horrible. But um, uh. nope, I've never seen anything like that. Thank God, man. I've been you pretty know, fortunate. I probably should have thought a little bit more about some of these questions because if I ask one, that would be like it would say, yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't even think about that. You ever seen a car accident? You'd be like, yes, I saw a family of four die. And now the show is just like. Yeah. Oh, I just yeah. killed the mood of the show. So I'm gonna have to try to think about it. Yeah, right down the toilet. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or, or even something crazy like, my, like a, another question, like, do you prefer the heat or the cold? All of a sudden, you're like, I almost froze to death in the mountains. And I'm like, oh shit, no, <laughs> I can't do anything right. <laughs> oh, oh, you could have asked me something about tornadoes, you know? Oh hey. yeah, <laughs> yeah. We just lost our house, you asshole. Lost our house. He almost died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. Well, so, so about about that, like your experience being in the house while it was ripping your house apart. Right. Did it? Did it? It's. I always hear like it sounded like a train. Did, did it sound like a train coming? It sounds like a thousand trains. Holy it, it's, shit. it's it's the most violent thing you'll ever experience, and and just you know, as it's coming, it starts hitting the transformers and the and the power lines and stuff so there's all kinds of explosions as it's getting close and i never thought of that yeah yeah where where in the house were you we um you know we don't have basements here Mm -hmm. yeah yeah, Uh, because there's so much ledge so there's crawl spaces under a house but we have a part of our house was built on a a slab concrete slab so we Mm -hmm. just went down to that section in a hallway and we covered ourselves with a mattress and you know and, and, you know, we got hit by stuff, like every window, every door blew out of the house. We had a huge tree come into the house, lost, you know, the roof. Half the house was completely gone. Damn. Um, and, you know, it, uh, it's just mind boggling. But the crazy thing is, is that if you have a direct hit, you get the eye of the storm that comes over. You get the first half, you get the eye of the storm and it gets super, super quiet. And then you wow. get the second really, really mean half. <laughs> Holy <laughs> crap. The second half is even more violent. And it, it's, you know, the craziest thing is the pressure. The pressure on your head. You feel like your head's going to explode. Oh, God dang. It's, it's, but it's violent. And I've yeah. been in some stuff, man. And there's nothing like a tornado. 
Not the like story it. alone makes my taint really tight. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to. Oh, yeah. shit, man. That, yeah. That's scary. That's, Fuck that. That is insane. <laughs> yeah, was, I can't even imagine. Yeah, it's 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 pretty screwed up, you know? So so now now you have to make a song. Instead of called Eye of the Storm, call it Eye of the Swirl. Eye of the Swirl. Because <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I'm not into a country so I got you. <laughs> wow, this guy won a lyric contest. Get the hell out of here! <laughs> I want to hear the song. <laughs> that, that was for his uh, McDonald's commercial for the little swirly treats. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I, have the I have the McFlurry. I have the McFlurry. Yeah, there you go. Oh my oh, god, shit. that's amazing. Uh, Speaking that's of, when, when's the last time you ate a McDonald's? That's actually in my. That's actually in a question that I typed out, and we sat there and wow. we just talked about McDonald's. Ah, oh, it's been a, it's been a long time. Just yeah, they're, uh, they're not at least yeah. okay, at least a year. <laughs> yeah, hey, that's that's not bad. That's nah, not bad. it's been a while. It's been a yeah. while for the McDonald's thing. So, yeah. what would you plan if the world were to end next week, and we all knew? Oh, what would I plan? I'd plan a big blowout party, get hammered to, until until the end of it. I'm just going there you go. There you go. And then big ass party, Ooh. all my buddies, big rock show, just nonstop playing and having a good time. Hell and yeah. You can even manage to like, I'm sure, buy drugs to deal drugs really quick so you can fulfill that <laughs> that fantasy. Yeah. Oh <laughs> I mean, yeah. I get, I get, I'll get the drug dealing pimp thing in before, yeah. right? Yeah, push wow. it before. I am actually really good at this. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, world doesn't end. Oh, yeah. No, I'm just stick with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, that's well, awesome. Well, I, I gotta say, man, it has been an absolute pleasure having you on. And uh, I, I just wanted to ask: Is there anything that you wanted to plug in, or absolute any message that you want to say to our listeners and the or the world, really? Um, you know, just, you know, we're looking forward to getting this thing out there this year. If you, you know, if you want to get any more info, there's animesx.com or you can check out, uh, sohojohnny.com. There's a lot of info and stuff. He's, you know, he's kind of in, not in charge, but he's involved with this thing and everything's on his website. And, uh, so sohojohnny.com animesx.com and you can always look and you know look up Mike Vissera on Facebook there's all kinds of stuff up there as well but you know we're just looking forward to getting this out there and 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 meeting people in person again <laughs> doing yeah, shows and, and seeing life living yeah, exactly and I'm looking forward to continuously stalking because I'm gonna yes. keep doing that I'm gonna keep doing that like, <laughs> yes yes absolutely okay. you should you should well, I, I gotta say that, that that's really <laughs> awesome and I, I Everybody, you guys got to look out for them because they're, they're going to hit it big. Oh, and, awesome. and, and, and I will say, just like always, everything that you can find on Mike here will be in our descriptions on everything. We're on everything. Spotify, Pandora, Amazon, Google, what the hell, everything. So what look the in the hell? description. <laughs> what the hell? Look in the description. <laughs> click on the links. Let's uh, let's promote. Let's follow these guys. And, and I'm excited. So it's going to awesome. be awesome. Thank you. Absolutely. Appreciate it. It was a pleasure having you. Absolutely. Stay mindless, everybody. Thank you guys for tuning in to the Mindless Morning Show. We hope you enjoyed it, and we greatly appreciate you guys picking us out of the many great podcasts out there. Now go enjoy your mindless day.